Next, you're going to see how to run code from the command line. First in Windows. So holding down Windows, tapping R, and then typing CMD will get you to the command prompt. And now you can change into the Documents folder with CD space Documents. And you can make a new directory with MKDIR and then the name of the directory you want. Here it's real Python. Change into that directory with CD. And then make another directory called Running Scripts. Again, change into that directory. Now, using DIR, you can see that's an empty directory. And to create a new empty file, we need to use a little trick. So we're going to use copy and then NUL, which is null, an empty file, and then to the name of the file in question. So copy null hello.py creates a zero byte file called hello.py. Now you can edit it using the command idle and then the name of the file that you've created. Here, hello.py. In a few seconds, you'll see idle open up, and now you can type the commands you want. Here, again, the classic hello world. Save the file with Control S, and then you can close the window either with the X or by doing Alt F4. Now you can run the file by typing Python, a space, and then the name of the script. There you can see Hello World has run, and now you can exit by typing exit and hitting enter. Now you'll see how to run scripts from the command line using Ubuntu. Right click on the desktop and pick Open Terminal, and now change into a directory. So here, going to change into the real Python directory and the running scripts directory. And you can see with ls that it's an empty directory, there are no files in there. And you can use the touch command to create a new file. So touch, space, then the name of the script. And if you list again, you can see hello.py exists. And listing with the al switch allows you to see that the file has a size of zero. And now you can use nano to edit the file by typing nano, space, and then the name of the file you want to edit. So here we'll type again, classic, print hello world and you see you get some color coding of syntax in this editor so you can write it out using control o and then hitting enter to save it and then control x will exit nano back in terminal you can run it with the command python 3 and then the name of your script as ever type exit to quit the terminal Now running code from the command line on Mac OS. Command space searches for an app, and you can type term to open up a terminal, and you'll see the commands are the same as when using Ubuntu. Opening directories, listing with ls. The touch command works in the same way as Ubuntu. Creating an empty file. And you can use nano in the same way to edit the script. You'll notice there is no color coding by default in the Mac version of nano. But the commands work the same way. Control O and then enter to write the file. And then Control X to exit. Python 3 and then the name of the script will get it to run. And then you can exit the terminal with exit. Using Command W to close the window after it's finished.